Callie, are you having a good morning at the park? Kinsley over there on the swing. Good morning, you guys. Um, I didn't know if I was gonna vlog today. Just wasn't sure how I was gonna feel, but I am going to talk to you guys on what's going on today, how I'm feeling and everything. So tomorrow we're gonna go back in and recheck the beta test. And I've been calling all my friends and family and texting them and have heard so many stories of people who did not have their beta level double that first time. So we are still prayerful and hopeful that it's gonna still be okay. Um, we took a pregnancy test this morning. I'll show you when I get home. And it's not lighter that I was just, I took it to see, oh, I wonder if it's gonna get lighter and it's not. So I called our acupuncturist and he said it could be multiple things. You know, he said, you know, maybe the embryo isn't um, genetically normal. Um, maybe my body is attacking it or maybe it's a ectopic pregnancy. And then I told him how my doctor um, is gonna recheck me on Tuesday. And he said, well, if your doctor still thinks that it's possible, then come in for acupuncture. So he squeezed me in and I'm going in right now for acupuncture. Um, we tweeted out this morning. Um, I'm just really thankful for Instagram and Twitter being able to connect with you guys faster than over here on YouTube. But a lot of you were saying that your numbers didn't double that first time. And I'm really thankful to hear other stories that are like that. So I'm just praying right now, like literally right now, I'm cramping a lot, but then they completely go away, which I feel like is a good sign versus cramping and staying cramping. So um, it could be really good. It could be really bad. I don't know, but let's go in. Relax with acupuncture. Hmm. And then someone said drink a ton of water. And I'm always dehydrated, so I'm just hopeful that I just really need to drink a lot, a lot of water. Pinch it harder. Bigger, bigger ch chunk of skin. There you go. There you go. Good. Very good. When you're done, let go of the hand that's pinching. Grab a tissue before you take out the needle. And then just, just like that. Yep. Good job, Mom. Everyone say good job, Grammy. <laughs> Emergent needle medication at the same time as my appointment. So quick injection before now I'm gonna relax. Good job, Grammy. <laughs> okay. Phelps grow, baby, grow. Phelps texting grow, me more baby. positive things that are being said on Twitter. So very thankful for um, other people who've experienced this. So that's why we share because if we can encourage other people that have gone through this and you know if we can help one person feel like you know don't this is what happened yeah don't lose hope um that's what we're here for so that's why we're vlogging today and trying to stay upbeat so i'm going to pick up the camera and smile and say you know all is not lost so just hoping that i'm really hoping that numbers quadruple tomorrow that's what i'm hoping for <laughs> amazing acupuncture was wonderful I could just feel the blood flow in my body it was great and when he looked at me he said you know I don't have much inflammation and so he said he wouldn't think that it would be like my body's attacking the embryo it would be that maybe the embryo is not strong but I just keep hearing more and more stories of them not doubling right away so I'm just gonna hold on to that today this is today's called hope while we wait you know so we're gonna go into Costco, get some meds, and yeah, let's go. Okay, before I go inside, I wanna tell you something that my friend told me yesterday. This is like Peter getting out of the boat, and Jesus is saying, keep your eyes on me. Are your eyes on me? And he's doing that for me right now. Are you keeping your eyes on me? The storm can be crazy around you. You look around, you feel like you are going to sink, but all I'm doing, I was doing it the whole time during acupuncture, closing my eyes, and just saying, are my eyes on you, Jesus? Are my eyes on you? And that's the only thing that's gonna get me through the storm. Everything around me, it's gonna happen, but you know what's gonna get me through? Keeping my eyes on Jesus. And so that is what's getting me through today. Well, it's been a while since we said hi. We spent the rest of the night taking care of the girls. Um, Callie's still not feeling well, so 
um, just kind of spending time taking care of her. But I said I was going to show you. So, so this top one is the one I took on Friday. So it's kind of dried out. It's a few days old. And then this is the one I took this morning. So it seems to be like slightly darker. So that made me feel a lot better today. We're going in tomorrow morning to do um, blood work again. Um, to see, I really enjoyed today spending time reading all of the comments on Twitter and all of the comments on my Instagram talking about how um, sometimes uh, the beta levels don't double. I know mine really didn't even come close to doubling, so that's not great, but i um, still hopeful. Um, lots of cramping tonight, which is kind of that feeling of like, oh, it feels like, oh, you're having a period, but then it completely goes away. Which I've heard a lot of people say like that's how they felt when they were first pregnant um, so still holding on to that hope but um, it was actually a really decent day for having to have time go by between beta tests um, I'm actually really proud of myself I'm proud of Philip helping me and just um, it was a I'm surprised it was a really good day but again like I said earlier, like the storm can be going on all around, but the only thing that is going to keep me afloat and above water is keeping my eyes on Jesus. And I feel like that helped me a lot today. And it just reminded me no matter what the outcome is, like it's already in his hands and I don't have to worry about it. And so my stress level dropped a lot when I kept praying that all day. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. If you liked today's video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button so you don't miss tomorrow on how our beta test levels are doing. Um, and like always, you guys, go let your love multiply. Bye.